Hello? Oh, hi, darling. Half a world away, another day. So let's go play on the moon. Welcome back to another episode of On the Other Line. I'm your host, Kelly Keegs, and I lately have just been missing a little bit of sparkle in my life. I don't know if you ladies are feeling the same. I don't feel as sparkly as I usually do, and I think to turn that around, we today need to discuss jewelry. We just need to talk about the sparkle, and then we'll get the sparkle. Mm -hmm. That's what I've decided, and so that's why I picked this topic today, mostly because I was reading online the other day about lab-grown diamonds, and it blew my fucking mind. So we'll get into that a little bit, but first, how are you guys? Good. (laughs) Good. We rush in here. We started quick. We, uh, I was late, obviously, as always, and um, yeah, that's pretty much that. How was your weekends? Or your weeks, I guess, since yeah. we last chatted. Very average. Good yeah. weekend. Didn't yeah. do anything crazy. Love that. No. Oh, oh I was in Austin. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. How'd that go? Yeah. It was fine. It was good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Um, I was there for literally one day. Yeah. They worked the Canes drive through Brie and Grace, and yeah. Josh Richards. And Can then I say we something about Josh Richards? Yes. Please He's do. just getting hotter and hotter. And I know My that like, you're not supposed to say it, but like, dear God. It's well, the middle he part. Like, it's the middle he looks part. like Timothy Chalamet now. Like, yeah. He just Whoa, looks like okay. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> mm. it's, He's, it's, the it's the middle part. It's the middle part and the lack of nutrition in his diet, I'm <laughs> sure. Totally. He looks fantastic. And so I, but I just crack up because I used to think like, oh, Josh Richards looks so young and whatever. But now I'm like, Josh Richards is just a certified hottie. So that's He looks really hot at the Golden Globes, I will say. Did that's you see that's his why look? I made my decision. Yes. Yeah, that, that was, was a good outfit. Yes, I, I screenshot the picture, I sent it in our Plan Brew group chat, and I said, why does Josh look so hot? Yep. Um, it's the middle part, I believe. It's, it's the middle yeah, part. It's yeah, it's definitely the middle part. So. And he knows it. Oh, of course he does. Yeah, yeah of course he <laughs> yeah. of course he does. I would expect nothing less. You have to know it at that point. Yeah. If you don't, it's like you just you're playing stupid. <laughs> so, um so yes, I'm jealous of that. That's fun. I have never tried raising canes and I am like oh, dying it's to. So it's good. very, very, very good. It looks so fucking it's, yeah, good. It's like, very that good. toast, that Texas toast. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big Texas toast girl and I feel like I don't get it a lot now anymore. And uh it's just the whole thing. They're opening one in Times Square. I heard that they are, but and it's like when, you know? Yeah, I think Times Square and Union Square, they're supposed to be oh, opening sick. one. Well, but I'm excited oh, for whenever so that good. happens. T- Got to get the box combo, no slaw, extra toast, extra cane sauce. That's what everybody sauce. says. Everyone says that. Can I say something, though? I love coleslaw. Okay, then get the coleslaw. I'm a, I'm a hardcore coleslaw Then just girl. do box combo, extra um, toast, extra, extra toast, sauce. And then and then make sure I get a little yeah. bit of slaw I'm not, I'm not like the biggest slaw fan. Yeah, I love it. I Sometimes, you know who has sneakily the best coleslaw if you're into like you know, I, I don't know how authentic people are wanting their coleslaw, but KFC has fantastic I've heard coleslaw or coleslaw. I'm sure I it's don't just know how. battered in like Definitely. It's just, it's just mayonnaise. I'm just eating mayonnaise mm-hmm. and, and so like mayonnaise cabbage, with the side basically. of cabbage. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. But it's so good. I think about it all the time. But oh, good. That's that's exciting. That's useful. Madeline, what about you? Anything good? Um, I'm still doing dry January. So same. Yeah. It's I still haven't broken it. I have to. This neither weekend, have I. I have a wedding this weekend for Ugh. my cousins. I feel like I can't not have a yeah, glass no. of champagne at that wedding no it w- it's i feel like i have fomo even though i'm there like yeah because i'm not <laughs> drinking and i like yeah. lost my voice this weekend because we w- I, I went out every single night this weekend and i was just like well i'm not drinking so i guess i'll just chit chat yeah and then i just was like yelling in these loud bars and then no. i freaking i'm like i didn't have a drop of alcohol this weekend and i sound like i'm on a three day ba- like bender. Nothing so that sucks. But nothing is worse than having to like scream in a loud ass bar. Like yeah. when you're drunk it's it's still intolerable, but when you're sober it's like when I'm, you're drunk I'm you don't feel it off. as much. Right, exactly. But I was like yeah. I'm like one, I have FOMO for dr- not drinking and two everyone around me is annoying me right now because mm-hmm. you, they're all like hammered and I'm like you guys are being idiots that's exactly how I I it's have tough. yet to put myself in a social social situation so oh, I haven't been fun. out socially since New Year's like I've just been like in my house but I I need to at least test myself once for I thought I saw something on the wall just now I'm so jumpy for cockroaches all the time <laughs> like I just always think that there are around. I wouldn't be surprised if you know what I mean really, yeah. like I thought I just saw something on the wall mm, maybe it's a ghost um but I, I need to 
test myself and it's put myself hard. in a social situation and not drink and see if I can do it. Because I don't think I've been in a social social situation without drinking in like since I turned twenty one. I just like, drink a ton since of I was water. 19, you know, like, I drink a ton knows? of water and yeah, so much water. Yeah, and I'm I, because I, I just have to hold something. Did I tell you about my Coca Cola, my new Coca Cola addiction? No, that it's like on the cusp. Well, I watched that Welcome to Chicken Chippendale show, right? Mm-hmm. And um, they the guy. Uh, that Camille Nanjiani plays like the head of Chippendales, the founder, whatever, doesn't drink. And like he does a little bit, but he mostly just drinks Coca-Cola's. And um, I watched that series and he just kept ordering Cokes and it like really made me crave Coca-Cola. And so now I've gotten myself like a fountain Coke. I've got, I've had like six or eight fountain Cokes in the past couple of weeks, which I've, I haven't Ooh. drank soda in years. Like yeah. I just don't, I need, I'm, not a, my I'm not a pop person and I, I can't mm-hmm. believe it. It's just, it's bad for you though. Sugar. It's, they'll the, take the pain off your car. They say, this is how, this is how bad, <laughs> like this is how down bad I am is I went to a bar with all of our friends and G and I are in a friend group where it's pretty much me, Gia, and then my roommate. And then it's all dudes. Yeah. And I, Gia was in Austin. So I was out on my own. And I brought my own like poppy, mm-hmm. like the little. Pre- oh, I love those. I yeah. brought my own to the bar <laughs> just so I could sip on something that wasn't water. And I was like, yeah, this is the lamest move of all time is to bring a prebiotic soda. No. To to the bar. It's fine. Like, oh, my I, God. Should, I wish that they sold like LaCroix at the bar. You know what I mean? Like I love yeah. a sparkling water, like a flavored sparkling I am obsessed with. So I don't understand why they don't do that. If that were an option, I would mix that in every once in a while. Like I would be like. Here's a drink, and also here's the, I just like the bubbles is what it is. I think. Yeah, you just need like the carbonation because the carbonation the makes carbonation. it feel like you're actually drinking. Something. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know. it makes me feel good. I'm just peeing every five minutes because I'm drinking. So right, much water. that's tough. Yeah, it's tough to have to pee every five minutes. But um, yeah, well, power to you for that. I can't believe you did power it. Power to good you for that. You. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. My brother visited this weekend. We didn't drink at all, which was lovely. He also is not a big drinker, so it wasn't wasn't hard. Um, but we saw Megan again for a second time. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite show. I'm the spokesperson for it. And overall, it was a pretty good weekend. I, I laid on my couch. I slept a lot. I smoked a lot of weed. And I made a few meals. And I really liked it. But like I said, I'm feeling like I'm missing that sparkle. It's a time of year. We're not feeling sparkly. We're not feeling, mm-hmm. you know, it's just it's just not nice. I'm, I feel like I am uh, holding this plant's hand. Um, <laughs> you know, just like, oh, it's, it's going to be okay. Um, but... I was looking up, I don't know why, how I fell down this hole. It was maybe on Thursday or Friday. And I was looking up um, just jewelry. I, I feel like I, I wear jewelry a good amount. Like I always am wearing earrings. I'll sometimes wear a bunch of rings depending on my mood. Sometimes I'm feeling anxious. I don't like wearing rings because um, they uh, feel like I'm, I'm constricted. Like I feel like they're, you know, I don't know if you guys ever feel, they feel like I mean, that. We, but we well, you guys sleep. You guys are you guys are like sleepers in your jewelry, right? Or you mm-hmm. are for sure. You yeah. do too? Yeah. How does that feel on your ears when you sleep in the night? Like, does it ever hurt? I've literally never noticed it once. I've had to position. My, well, my ears are different because yeah, I, like I have one. so many. I have to yeah. like position my head a certain right. way right. to not feel it. But I, it, doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Sometimes if I'm wearing like hoops like that, I have to take them out. Yeah. If I'm wearing big hoops, I can't sleep with them on. But these are all like little. Big hoops is hard. Yeah. yeah. I used to sleep in my earrings, but only when they were posts and stuff, like not really dangly earrings. Because dangly earrings will get caught like under yeah. here and mm-hmm. I feel like it like breaks my neck. But um, my one side of my ear, this side, uh, the the hole is so stretched because I slept on it so much that like my earrings are lopsided. This is one of those things where I'm going to have to go get that that oh, procedure like the where, ear they like, yeah. Yeah, where they like cut your earring hole open and then like re-sew it again you get a re-pierce i need to do it my friend Brittany did it recently and it looks amazing and it was cheap i think she said it was like 300 bucks like it's not like a yeah, an expensive procedure no because they're putting like one stitch in exactly yeah and so they right and so i i need to go get it done but you can't wear you can't get it re-pierced or wear earrings for a few months or something like that which i earrings are i love wearing earrings Same. so it's tough i feel naked without earrings if i don't wear them i feel stupid but um i think that over the years there have been I've gone through so many phases of jewelry personally and I've gone through so many different things that I love and hate and don't understand why it's so popular and blah 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 like all those things but um I don't know why I was down this hole but I started looking up these um these lab grown diamonds and I was learning a lot about them and I think that Obviously, diamonds, everybody, the diamond is king. Everybody wants a diamond, diamond engagement ring, diamond necklace, diamond bracelet. Like, Me. that's uh, height of height of height because the diamond industry has done the best job, I think, of any company, any brand, any product in the world on just marketing a product that has, that is not as valuable as, it, it, as it's supposed to be. Like, diamonds are a dime a dozen. Like, you can literally get diamonds anywhere. So it's yeah. not, it's kind of crazy how 
they are still the like the pinnacle the top of the top but that just goes to show like that's it's ingrained in our heads you know what I mean for for all of our lives but what I noticed or what I was reading about with these lab grown diamonds for those who don't know what they are because I didn't really know what they were they are exactly that diamonds grown in a lab but they are real diamonds like instead of waiting for the earth to make these diamonds in the earth they just make them in a lab like they use like pressure and and carbon and whatever the fuck they use to like make diamonds they just do it really quickly it takes like a month to make them and uh then you're stuck with a, a flawless diamond and what they have started doing is giving these diamonds like real serial numbers and so you and they stopped den denoting whether or not they were lab grown or not so like now flooding the market and into the future no one's going to know unless you pull out a microscope and you are a professionist and are a professional, uh, you know, jewelry person. You can't tell which diamonds are real and which diamonds are fake. Or, or I'm sorry, not even fake, lab grown. They're not fake. I keep, that's another thing too is like you have to stop saying that they're fake because they're not. But um, it's interesting because the lab grown diamonds are literally flawless. There are no, there are no issues. Like, you know, that's that. And so in the future, I'm wondering if these lab-grown diamonds are going to replace regular diamonds altogether. Like, it's going to be... It's already kind of problematic. Like, diamonds are problematic, people Yeah, like say. blood diamonds. Blood diamonds are problematic, yeah. So people are like, oh, whatever. I wonder if eventually it's going to be, like, bad news to have real diamonds. You know what I mean? Oh, like you'll get canceled if you're yeah, wearing real diamonds? Yeah, my friends and I were talking about this, and we were thinking probably... <laughs> Hmm. like i could see that i could see it is lab is lab grown different from moissanite yes oh. yes because okay. moissanite's, moissanite's just not, not a real. diamond yeah it's yeah. also not real yeah same with like cubic zirconia is not real like those things are yeah. you can buy those at walmart diamonds. yeah oh, okay yeah. which again i thought when they were talking about these like fake new fake diamonds i was like oh they're just like a little bit better version of moissanite. cubic zirconias or whatever moissanite whatever and um no they're like are they're they more legitimately expensive real. they're cheaper they're about half the price of like a regular diamond but that's they're still expensive or 40% okay. less 40% that's still less a or lot something less. yeah it's it is less. it is shockingly considering the fact that they're that they're real diamonds that are now certified you, you'd think they would be more expensive i yeah, agree yeah, based I on like think. the labor i don't know i don't know how like normal diamonds 100% are. you would think and what they say about um what they say about uh, oh, I remember how I stumbled upon this. I was looking on Twitter. They were having some kind of conversation on Twitter about how people are still uh, like having real diamonds when these lab-grown diamonds exist. And the only difference is that, um, you know, there was like unstructured labor and all this other bullshit in real diamonds. And that's why people are like, but they're that, but they're special. It's like the only thing special about them right. is that people were forced to dig them right. out of the ground. It's right. slave so like, labor. That's yeah, what's exactly. special about yeah. it. Yeah. Which is crazy. And I, I love diamonds and like, I understand why people are, are like are conditioned to believe that diamonds are the most precious gem and like all this shit. Right. So, I mean, again, it's, it's the, the uh, engagement ring market has really done a number on everybody. Like that. It's just, it's become this symbol of love. It's become the symbol of wealth. You know, uh, Marilyn Monroe, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Like, all, mm. there's so many mm. things throughout history that just put diamonds on this pedestal. And the way they look, you know, they're clear, they're beautiful, whatever. They and um, it's just funny to see how, how people go apeshit for them. But what it, uh, it kind of made me think about or what it got me going about was, do you guys know about the Hope Diamond? Yeah. Which no. is like, so the is that the big, the huge one? The big, huge one that's like blue. Yeah. And what I never realized until I started looking this up, when it, and in my head I'm like, fucking duh, is that the Hope Diamond is the diamond on the Titanic. Like, that's the one that, that he gives her. And I looked up the history of it, and he was like, I think it belonged to like King Louis or something, cost a fortune, and like puts it around her neck. And I looked it up, and that is King mm. Louis' diamond. It was just like a replica of the Hope Diamond. And obviously, the real Hope Diamond didn't like fall into the ocean, but it did die along with a woman in 1911, like the year before the Titanic. So it was like, um, it was th the whereabouts were a little bit unknown. And then uh, years later, it was sold to Harry Winston, who then held on to it for a while, toured with it for a while, and then gave it to the Smithsonian where it still is. So you can okay. still go look at the Hope Diamond. But I cracked up about how like I kind of missed that complete reference. Yeah. I guess at the time, everybody was talking about the Hope Diamond. Like nobody shut the fuck up about it. And it also made me think back about just like times in pop culture where it was relevant and did you guys ever watch the like Mary Kate and Ashley movies? Yes, of course. No, no? Yeah. Gia, what? I'm shocked by that. I am shocked too, Fran. Fran, yeah, I'm sure Fran did, but okay, I don't. Okay. I'm also I don't. You seem like the type 
to have grown up on Mary Kate and Ashley. Totally. Like you're cool and fun and fresh. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I say Mary Kate and Ashley was like the, that the, was like the it, like it, the it watch, movies. Yeah, you watch Mary Kate and Ashley. Okay, well, I think it was. I just remember the one sealed. where they go to Paris. Of course, password to Paris, obviously. And they eat escargot. and they meet those two hot boys. Yeah. And they go off on their best. Bus. And they're like, "What is?" They eat our escargot, and they're like, "What is this? It tastes so good." And they're like snails, and then they spit it out. They, yeah, they spit it out. And they're like, "Tastes like a balloon." Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love those movies. Never anyway. seen them. Oh, you should. You're watch out them. of your mind. You got to watch them now. Yeah. I feel like they'll still hold up. Um, I haven't seen them in a long time though. But so in, I believe the Australia one, our lips are sealed. Where they're in Australia, there's some kind of like jewelry heist going on, and the whole time they're like they think that these girls have this diamond, and it's like it's a, supposed to be a play on the Hope Diamond, and they call it the Neil Diamond. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's funny. funny. And I had no idea when I was watching it as a kid. I was like watching it. And I, I legit thought the Neil Diamond was the diamond. Like I was like, oh, I know <laughs> this is a famous diamond. I know what it looks like. I think it's yellow in the movie. But I was like, I know what it looks like. And it's called the Neil Diamond. And I remember bringing it up to my parents and they like laughed at my face. They were like, bitch, you're so stupid. It's the Hope Diamond. You're so dumb. Neil Diamond is an old that's funny. Yeah, Neil Diamond's a person. Yeah, Neil Diamond's a person. You idiot. Like I was like 10, you know. But I just died over that. And I think it's so interesting how jewelry is relevant in pop culture how it's relevant in fashion how it's such a symbol of like wealth and shine and and prosperity and i don't know i just i, I think it's fun and cool and different but did you see that um i keep seeing on tiktok these days that like necklaces are out of trend do you see that no what, what? no i always get it on my <laughs> tiktok necklaces are out of like trend girls are like all of them here are my like 2023 predictions whatever oh yeah oh, like yeah. necklaces yeah. are out necklaces are out well if you notice on the red carpet lately, no one's really wearing it's necklaces. A bare neck. Bare neck. I've been seeing a lot of. I've been seeing a few bare necks, but I've also been seeing a lot of um, high neck outfits. A lot of high neck outfits. Not yeah. not feasible for necklaces. Yeah. Um, well, then I'm out of trend. I'm not taking them. I'm also out of trend, yeah. and I thought to myself that you could you can take my necklaces when I die. Also, I feel like a lot yeah. of I feel like people are into I'm like layering necklaces right now. You be no, apparently them. that trend is over now. Well, Gia, we well, are behind. It's because yeah. it's winter time. You know yeah. what I mean? It's because it's winter time, and nobody can like fit a cute, you know, necklace over their thick ass yeah. sweatshirt or their hoodie take, or whatever. I don't take mine off. People, people aren't aren't as resilient as they used to be when wearing the jewelry, <laughs> and all. And I know that from personal experience. I used to wear all my jewels all the time, and then it just got annoying to do that, so I stopped doing it. I take yeah. it off every night, like I do the whole thing. But the, but I used to consistently wear i'd wear like three or four necklaces at once yeah. all the time never mm -hmm. took them off the only one i would ever take off is my my fake please return to tiffany's necklace because it was too big and it would like strangle me in my sleep <laughs> so i had to take it off but um yeah i i think that that's a lie and i think that people are just saying that right now because they don't like time they don't like uh necklaces at the very at this but very moment you can't just be like necklaces done like no, that's not like how that, that literally works. never happened it's a like the, chunky necklaces maybe Right, chunky necklaces are disgusting. And a we'll statement talk about that necklace. As well. Yeah, statement necklace is not my jam. That was my shit so in rarely, 2014. Me fucking too. So rarely am I in uh, interested in a statement necklace these days, and I just have so many because I collected so many when they were popular, and mm -hmm. I don't really know what to do about that. But I think that some of the biggest statement pieces, statement necklaces, and where it kind of came from, where it started, is obviously all of the royal families, not just the Eng not just England. But royal families all over the place have all these jewels that they're smuggling between each other. They're getting stolen. They're hiding them in the ground. They're doing all this crazy shit to protect these jewels. And that also got me thinking, like, all these jewels aren't diamonds, obviously. So what is the most valuable? What is the most interesting? Whatever. And I found out that um, emeralds are the most valuable stone right now. Emeralds are popping off. Emeralds are my favorite stone in the world. That's my yeah. gemstone. I want that. Like is it my oh. birthstone. I'm jealous of that. Uh, May. What is it? Oh, May. 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 <sighs> Who's Mine's March? Amethyst, and I hate it. Amethyst. She's my March. dad's is amethyst. Why no, do you I'm hate February. it? No, I'm February. February. Sorry, yeah. I'm thinking Sam. Sorry. Why do you hate amethyst? Not a fan. Purple. I don't really love purple. Yeah. And I feel like amethyst is such a basic stone. Like every time you go like into it. like one of those crystal stores, there's True. always amethyst. Always amethyst. True, but it's like it has like wh what kind of properties does it have? Like healing properties, I good vibes, I'm not sure. like whatever. I'm not I don't sure, know. But I know yeah. what you mean, but 
Yeah. When I was little, I didn't like amethyst as much because I thought it was like a fake color, you know, because like yeah. purple, like, you know, what's purple? It is cool that it's like naturally purple. Yeah, totally. I think that's really. And now as an adult, I appreciate that. I think yeah. it's really interesting. Mine is aquamarine, which mm. is fine. I don't know. I feel like I used to. I get jealous of like my brother is April. He's the diamond. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. My mom is July, my brother Ruby. and my dad are April. I'm like, you have a good one. I know. My mom is rubies. That's stunning. Yeah, rubies that's are cool. also expensive. Not not as expensive as you think, but they made me think of the ro- royal families as well in general that they're always just shuffling around rubies and emeralds and sapphires and such and i learned something about sapphires while i was looking this up as well and um apparently sapphires are like one of the cheapest stones you can get and they use sapphires a lot the blue one is like the most uh the most rare of sapphires but it's not really that rare like it's not hard to get sapphire but what they do with sapphires, because they're cheap, they use the different colors of sapphires all the time in other stones. So, like, when you're growing up and you go to fucking Kohl's or whatever and um, you're just wanting, like, a, a new jewel or something ridiculous and maybe it's, like, a pink stone or, like, an orange stone or something ridiculous, it's likely a sapphire, which I didn't realize is the case. But look at all these shades of sapphires. Yeah, you know. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I didn't. Oh, Colorless I didn't white, two different kinds of blues, four different kinds of pinks, and, f- and three different kinds of greens and a yellow. Have you been to the Natural History Museum? Yes. Museum um, of Natural History? Yeah. Uh, yes. Have you been to the this gems yes. section? Yes. That made me learn a lot. It's very informative. Because to me, like, exactly, like, a sapphire is blue and a ruby is red. Mm-hmm. But that's just Same. not the case. Same. I always was thinking they that, too. They look different. They're all different shapes and mm-hmm ways that they like shine and this this cute little old lady was like walking us around and telling us everything and they have like this whole like butterfly made out of different yes, stones. Yes, I know what you're talking like about. telling it's like us each of the different things. It's so beautiful. Can't remember anything that she said. No, of course not. Of course not. But yeah. You know what, you know what was um a, a lot of stuff or something that was in abundance at that exhibit was like tiger eye I think yeah. or something. Uh, Tiger Eye and one like of those Jade. Yeah, Jade's yeah. Like a really, like, those crazy one. stones that like you don't really think of. Like I never even thinking of Jade. Like I didn't even. Yeah. I, d- I like looked them up. I saw them all there, but I didn't like focus on them. I focused on like the like the big three, the big four, yeah. or whatever. Um, but yeah, Jade all the time. That Tiger Eye, uh, Moonstone, yeah, like Moonstone, those kind of yeah, things yeah. are always you know are I feel like they're probably easy to find because they're more like earthy stones than they yeah. are gemstones. I guess. Yeah. I don't know but the difference. Of uh, between the two, Not I really. feel like um I feel like like moonstone and jade and all those are a little more opaque. You yeah, know? Like I think my ring solid. is moonstone. It looks it looks like it. I like yeah. it. Or it could be like um. No, yeah, I opal? think you're right. I think opal, it's, maybe I think yeah, it's opal. moonstone though. I'm it not does look sure, like moonstone. Though. Does look like it. Yeah, my nana cool. loves opals. I, I don't know why. I just, I just when you said opal, <laughs> made me think of that. At my, she loves it. Um, I also uh thought it was interesting that the cubic zirconia stones were only starting to be made in the 70s that's pretty new Mm. so i guess i also think that has to do with um or has a lot to do with like the big diamond boom like i feel like because my my parents were talking about it my dad was talking about it it was like of course you buy a diamond engagement ring whatever but it wasn't like like when my dad was proposing to my mom obviously she wanted diamonds but it wasn't like this yeah it's like you must have diamonds or else the solitaire cut to right it was nothing like it is today did you see nick vial's diamond that he got yes i did and it's good and i'm frustrated because it's a rock it's a rock it's huge huge. but it's like i mean well she has to have the biggest out of i mean he's been this is fourth proposal so she or at least third third i think third at least because he didn't propose to caitlin right no, I don't think so. She dumped him first. Oh I wait, think. I didn't know this. Yeah, yeah, he's proposed. To, he's proposed on the show three times. Do you like him? No, I am not a fan <laughs> of him. Okay, and I'm on record saying that he's a lot I've of people come don't really around. Like him. I don't know enough about him. I, I've come around on I. him over the yeah. years. I used to hate him for real. Like we, um, his voice bothers when me. When we did, yeah, when we did. Um, the original cutting stems which was called bachelor after party and it was just me and trent in the old barcel office and it was like a, it was like literally just us doing this live stream and like andrew manley had to hang out after and do it for us Aww. like it was ridiculous it was it was fun though i liked doing it but um we did it for nick Vial's season and so we didn't like him even going into it knowing that he was kind of like a loser he was the bachelor he was the bachelor okay. yeah and so yeah. he proposed okay. as the bachelor he also proposed in paradise to a different girl okay and now this is okay yeah, i guess his third 
Um, but his season was maybe one of the worst seasons okay. of The Bachelor that was ever on TV. He was like a huge fuckboy, right? He's a huge fuckboy. Yeah. He just like, he, he lacks a level of self-awareness that is, it's just so glaring that you're like, okay, you're like just... Uh, you're either faking it and you think that we're all so stupid we can't notice it or you're really this dumb. Like right. it's that kind of vibe. But then at the, then over the years after people were making fun of him for that exact thing, he became a lot more self-aware. He like got this podcast. He was like really self-deprecating and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Fine. Became like this. He kind of won everybody back over. And I was like, all right, I guess I'll like stop being such a bitch about it. But at the same time, I don't really like you still. And then he's been on uh, Chicks in the Office with the girls a few times. Like, I think he did one of their live shows with them. Like, they're friendly enough and, you know, whatever. So it's like, all right, I can't just, like, be a bitch all the time. And lately, he's just been insufferable. Like, he bl- blowing up Victoria and Greg, uh, spoiling the whole season oh, of Bachelor in Paradise for everybody. He just, everything about his online presence now is so arrogant and obnoxious that I can't handle it. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, all right, I I've like, really fucking hate you. I've seen a lot of stuff about that on TikTok. Just yeah. people being like, he thinks he knows like everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Cause the only reason I know who he is is because of his podcast and like his clips that always mm-hmm. go viral on TikTok of mm-hmm. like all this relationship advice. I'm like, who died and made you King? Yeah. And I, and I, and He's I didn't know his like a million I, times. I didn't know his background yeah. on the ba- like I knew he was on the Bachelor, but I didn't know his background on it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I can't tell if this dude is just like making things up. Or, like, where he's getting all of this. Fr- like, where no is he knows. getting all this? Fr- he's like, women want blah, blah, blah. I'm like, how the fuck do you know? Literally no one knows. Like, he just, right, he makes a lot of blanket statements. And it just, you know, based on his own experiences and it's whatever. But um, even down to his proposal, I thought, was some of the most performative shit I've ever seen. The, the video? The four-minute video yeah, of his I proposal. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? Like, it, uh, also, it was edited and out like 12 hours later. I was like, all right, so I don't know. Everything. No, I, 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 I don't like that. I don't like when people need to put every fucking minute of their lives online. And I understand that everybody likes to see that. Everyone wants to do that, whatever. And yes, of course, we want to see pictures, maybe a little montage, maybe a cute video, whatever. But to have a fully produced over three minute video. No, or I, was I completely it, whatever. agree. I completely it's too agree. much. You know what I mean? It's too much. I thought it was interesting about how in the video... It kept like cutting to him like full screen, like mm-hmm. him talking. And I was like, it's not really I mean, obviously it's about him, but it's like, why why didn't he just say it to her to her face? Just say it to well he, he and then was he's like saying putting like, himself like blowing himself up like big screen, like I don't know. That just, was, weird. Just, was very weird. He kept to me. saying like, Oh, I have to record this and like project it to her because I couldn't get the words out in person, which yeah. like I understand like if you're trying to get through something, whatever. But for then again, for his video to just keep showing his Him. like private personal engagement like i don't know i just I, f- I feel so strongly that like things won't last or things won't feel authentic if there isn't there aren't private moments yeah and I agree. that to me an engagement is one of the most private moments you could have like that mm-hmm. is such an expression of love or it's supposed to be mm-hmm. and you know I, I don't know like i i'm f- I have no problem with people having a photographer in the bushes to take photo of the moment and whatever, maybe a video for your life. Maybe you post it a little bit on Instagram, whatever, but like t- less than 12 hours later, this fully edited like mm. movie quality video of their engagement was out. Just seems a little embarrassing to me. Like I was embarrassed. He by also that. looks ca- like I watched it and she looks so happy, which she should be like, that's yeah. so awesome. And he, they seem like a good couple. He, like, I'm sure he's like, yeah. I'm like, wait, no, well, he's been there before. <laughs> So yeah. it's like, you know, no, no sweat off his back, yeah. which is mean for me to say. I know no, that like I every agree with fucking the private bit, thing. Yeah. The private thing, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, should, I guess I like when your life is already so like blasted, you might as well just have your engagement right. put out there. It, and I mean, he oh knows yeah. that like people are going to eat it up. Exactly. It felt very much like he just had something to prove. And, uh, you know, if I hope that that five to seven minute video of himself <laughs> made him feel that way. Mm-hmm. So whatever. Um, it's funny how uh, the first thing anybody ever asks about an engagement is what the ring looks like. Like, if you're a girl, it's always, guys don't give a fuck. Like, no one's ever mm-hmm. asking about guys, uh, or no one's ever asking guys about it. That's why girls guys don't get the ring. Wondering, yeah, girls are always wondering about the ring. And that's just, again, we, we all saw it. The best example of, like, the industry convincing us that diamonds are it is how to lose a guy in 10 days the frost yourselves ladies you know whatever like literally marketing diamonds and it's it's just so easy to do that with this built-in 
we must have a diamond ring to show that we are loved you know i know I mean? so it's, weird it's crazy but i, I do but i want to i want to rock oh yeah totally <laughs> I I, i'm not I, I don't want this to come across like i am anti ring at all i'm definitely not i love diamonds i yeah. love you know i love real diamonds i have yet to see the lab grown real diamonds so who knows i don't think that would bother me so much i think though that i probably wouldn't end up with the diamond like if i had a big honking ring i want an emerald i've always wanted an emerald yeah and they just now so happen to be the I most want, like, expensive so yeah, I just want something funky or like, like vintage blue. or I was like literally cool. gonna say indie yeah. blue. Yeah, that just, you know it her just ring? be interesting. It's like um, yeah, yes, like it's the, the two yes. stones. It's, the two it's, stones. Um, so it's cool. similar to uh, Megan Fox's. Yeah. Megan Fox, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when Megan Fox got engaged, they kept indie blue was like indie blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I want like something similar to that. I just want yeah, a big yeah. fat rock. I don't want too big. I do. I want. Like, I want something massive. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I, I want kind of like. I, think I just my, want something. I think my that's sister like wants absurd. something huge too. But I would yeah. like because I know myself and I don't trust myself. Yeah. To keep a ring on my finger for the rest of my life. Totally. True. I w- I would like a big, but not too big, where it's mm-hmm. like. People are going to come for you. Obviously, I don't want it to be like tacky big. True. Like Kim Kardashian. Yeah, yeah. You can't write. You'll get robbed or you'll get mugged on the subway or something. I've, but I do saw. You, do you, wait, say what you're saying. I saw a TikTok where this girl was like, I just got engaged and my fiance like proposed with the real ring. And then like at our engagement party, like a couple hours later, handed me a moissanite version of it. I was just, that's yep. exactly what I was just going to ask. Yeah. What do you guys think about doing multiple rings? One real one that's like honking and massive and huge and then a fake one or like a workout one. I, they don't even have to be the same ring in my opinion. Like it can just be yeah. like a band or something. Yeah. Like a, it doesn't have to be nice. Like it can right. just be like a gold band or whatever for me to wear at times when I don't want to be wearing this honking like ring. I feel like a lot of girls do that. Dollars. Like yeah. a lot of yeah. girls who have like a really massive think. diamond and then you wear the massive diamond when you want to, when you need to feel sparkly, you know what I mean? Like, or when you need to, you are at a special occasion or like whatever i like that move i will say though i am so anti those silicone rings oh that, yeah the like workout like rings i think I like those, those are so stupid like oh my god like and dudes wear them a lot like all the time dudes wear them like, all the time i think the probably because they because they can stay it's like more freeing like they yeah. can move their fingers and I'm like, easier dude you look like a baby like i don't know it it's, I, I think I it's like so the, dumb i i am not a fan of the uh black wedding bands no like I, no. when pe- when guys have like a big black wedding band it's just like a we get it you're married <laughs> like it yeah, just feels totally. a little right. it feels a little tacky, um, I don't know. would you guys care if you got a lab grown no. not if i couldn't tell the difference it's hard to yeah I it's hard to say slash i was or he doesn't have to I tell me could, yeah. i think you can lie to me yeah i think yeah, you can yeah. lie don't to me, me I don't and i won't say shit i was like, having this conversation with my girlfriend because in our group chat I guess this girl that went to Michigan State with us, she was proposed to, and she had a ginormica ring. Yeah. And we were like, hmm, like, you know, she's only a year or so older than us. Like, I don't really think her and her boyfriend are exactly loaded. Like, where did she get the money? And then we're like, oh, it's probably like a lab grown, whatever. Mm -hmm. And all my friends are like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. My friend texted me on the side because I think she knew that I like <laughs> yeah. wanted into like that, a yeah. real of course, one. Yeah, and she yeah. was like, never in my life would I <laughs> ever want a lab yes. grown ring. Like, 100%. I would never say yes if her boyfriend's name is Blake. If Blake ever gave me a lab grown <laughs> ring, whatever. I was like, girl, I was thinking the same thing. Oh, but yeah, I was no. not going to say it. Like when everyone's like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, like, it's like, fine, I don't want to be that bitch. So it's like no way it's like no not for me yeah no, no, that's my, my but i don't even think like i would that. even be able to tell the difference so it's like don't even say like, that's what i why think do you have for to myself say, like a hundred percent like that's what i think like my my besties that i was having this conversation with both are in that same camp we're like no like if it's not real diamond get the fuck out like not yeah. a chance whatever and i just i personally myself have never been so hype on diamonds that i've been like i must have a real diamond yeah i but i and i like this alternative and it's fine but i will say i'd rather have a different kind of stone as an engagement ring than a diamond if the only option is lap grown like i feel like that's kind of like last resort like okay whatever like but again why is it It i can't imagine getting engaged you're so happy it's a beautiful ring and then like asking your fiance like is, is this, this lab grown? Yeah, right. Like, real? what an like, awkward conversation. Yeah, like, yeah. or he hands you the certificate to all the stuff, and like, again, it doesn't. It no longer denotes whether or not it is. But I don't know, girls, the girls who have gotten engaged or who have been married, who f- who like diamonds and like rings and really yeah. focus on it, they know everything about them. Like, they know the cut, the the good mm. cuts, the good clarity, the good yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I really don't know that much. Like, I know enough to like get by in a conversation and I know what's good and I know what's yeah. considered shitty. But at the same time, like 
if it's sparkly, I like it. Like, I used just, to be on like, so ring to- like ring TikTok where like mm-hmm. they were like, there's this podcast where they have these insane rings and then they like, bring someone on and they'll like talk about like what kind of person would wear like each kind of oh, ring. You know what I mean? It was very funny. And yeah. so then I would watch those and then like all my, for, my for you page would just be like, oh like this type of clarity this type of cut like you want this whatever and like yeah. carrots like if you you can go like 2.5 but like there's not a big difference between like a two and then like a 2.5 so you might as well like get like a two like instead yeah. of paying for the 0.5 whatever yeah. like yeah. all this different stuff yeah which i th- which i think is interesting like I, I don't know i just there's so much to it and I, it's like it's like anything else you get obsessed with, like getting obsessed with wine or getting obsessed with food or getting mm. obsessed with like clothing or fashion or whatever. There's always it's this whole world that you can learn about and know about. And if you love it and you care about it, you fucking know, you know what I mean? Right. And that's what's important to you. And I think I've just I've just discovered like I'm not that girl. Uh, did you guys ever have the Pretty Princess game growing up? Obviously. Pretty, pretty Princess. Did that. You? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. that jump started my my love for jewels. I know, in I general. would just wear them around. Oh, that was like an Me unlocked too. memory. I know. Yeah. I haven't thought about With that like in a while. Like the different, like like the fake, like big ring. Yep. Like yeah, the jewel, yeah, and the yeah, crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the crown. crown. Yeah, you yeah. could play with four people, and you had to play to win, and then whoever won got to put on like all the jewelry. But you put on yeah. the jewels like as you go. Clip on earrings. Yeah, like you can you time. go past one space, you like put on one earring or like put on one bracelet and. I used to play with my Nana and um, she would just like let me cheat while we played so I could put all the jewelry on and then we would end up like stop playing and just put everything on and like walk around the house. Like we barely played the actual game. We just like pretty much wore the jewelry and the crown. <laughs> oh yeah. So I fun. loved that crown. I would it wear that great. crown like around. Same. Like yeah. all the time. It was just, it was so nice and I, I don't know why like what a what a gir- little girl game pretty pretty princess. Like it just, <laughs> everything about it. It's so lame but <sighs> I loved it so much. Uh, what do you guys think? Gold versus silver? I'm a silver girl, I'm obviously. I'm a silver girl as silver well. Girl, like least, I'm yeah. all silver. I'm a gold girl. Hmm. Yeah, I gold used girl. to be all gold. Yeah, but I don't know something. I think it's because my nose ring was silver, and I didn't like the way that it looked with my earrings. So mm-hmm. then I changed my earrings to silver, and then that I was like, sense. "Well, I might as well just go full silver." Go full silver. Yeah. yeah. Mine's my mom's a silver girl. Mm-hmm. So then, like she, when she would buy me jewelry, like little jewelry, growing up, she would al- always buy me silver, and then I just kind of like went really ham on it and like half these rings are her old ones that's so nice like, okay i like that i'll just keep it up i think that's gold interesting. looks really elegant yeah I, I like to wear gold in the summer yes like when i'm in florida i always wear gold because it looks good with a tan totally gold is like very elegant like looks very lovely i think silver looks kind of look more like bad at like like yes cool, i agree know? like silver's a cool oh, and cool. like gold is like like elegant i agree completely gold is more like jewelry i think of them i think of them as as uh levels of warmth like i think silver is cool tones and gold is warm totally that's the only reason why i wear gold because i I feel like silver makes me because i'm so pale Mm. and i'm so like whatever i feel like i need i need warmer colors and warmer jewelry otherwise i look like a corpse but that's funny what you said about your mom i I got i'm Guess my mom has always gotten me gold jewelry too, and she wears gold. Yeah, and like she, my mom wears and silver. I, I never have thought about that. Yeah, my mom wears silver, and so I always like grew up wearing. And I like this is her. I, I like stole this from Love her. That. So I was just like, I'll just keep it going. And when I was in like high school, college, when I started getting into, because I wear like seven rings a day. Mm-hmm. Like when I started getting into it, I obviously we had like no money, and so silver is just cheaper. Yeah, it, to buy good quality of it. Totally. So I would like buy like cute little jewel like silver stuff and it wouldn't tarnish mm-hmm. or like make my fingers turn green as much of course so of then course here i am that makes total sense now yeah. i've committed to a life of silver yeah i think i'm, I'm committed to a life of gold i have yeah. some silver things but yeah I, I, even when i'm tan i don't know it doesn't it doesn't sit right on me i have yet to find like a good silver that i really like mm. without it without looking uh looking crazy yeah um what are your favorite kinds of like weird jewelry and the example i want to use is a toe ring like jewelry that's like for other parts of your body. Like I was fucking obsessed with toe rings, like toe rings and ankle bracelets. I was I very obsessed with. I never wore toe rings because my family always would make fun of my toes. <laughs> I never I have wore toe rings. Weird. I have, Damn it. I don't have weird toes, but could have been. I don't have the best toes. My pinky toe is like really weird. 
So I never wanted to attract. Yeah. I did like a good, I was a fan of a good anklet for a while in the summer, but I don't feel anklets are that weird. No, I used to be a big. Anklets are not weird. Fri- yeah. Like make my own friendship bracelet anklet girl. Like I would make yes. it with the strings. Mm. I never made an anklet with those, but I was. I, I must have gotten every single year on the Jersey Shore. I got a new anklet and it was either yeah. made of like hemp with some stones in it or it was made of seashells. Like yeah. Every single Martha's time. Martha's Vineyard, I always mm-hmm. would get a new anklet mm-hmm. and like whatever. What Whatever friends that I take with me, we would always get like matching ones. Of course. Ones. Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah. How fun was that? Bringing so a friend fun. on like, like the short get, vacation. Like, matching ones yeah. Or whatever? And then, like, all you matching all feel, like, stuff. So connected for like that weekend. Of course. And then, like one person falls off and you're like, yeah. oh, well, there goes like our trio. Like, yeah, whatever. it's like, now forget it. Over. Like, yeah. whatever. <laughs> that, that happened to me one time where I, mine like uh, fell off in the group or whatever and i was so devastated by yeah. it being like what I'm the no fuck longer like, that i tried to like buy a new me. one like i yeah. like, went everywhere <laughs> trying to buy a new one that was the same couldn't find one yep. and then moving forward after that i am now the only one that ever has any of my friendship bracelets left like yeah. I, because mm-hmm. I'm, i take such good care of them because like it was so it was traumatizing so yeah i get that being the one left out i wanted to die um but let us read a couple of things that people said to us in our group, I asked everybody the best and worst jewelry that they wanted. We got a, a billion responses. Everybody's loving talking shit about jewel jewelry. Uh, someone says, the worst, those fucking feather earrings from 2010 looked like I wanted to fly away. Can I say something controversial? I fucking love the feather earrings. I'm a, I'm a huge feather earring fan. I know that they're lame. I know that they're ugly. Like, I love them. I love them. That is the millennial in you. I Joe know. Geez. It's just, I love feathers. I love the problem. The, my mom never let me get one, but I loved oh, the I feather either. I did too. I was never allowed to get like, one either. You're not claiming I never that did a hair. feather. But I, I was so jealous of those girls. They were, oh. so, those, those, they were so fucking cool for like two weeks. Yeah. I was like, that's the coolest shit you could like have in your hair. never cool in my town. Oh, oh my God. That was no, the shit. It was the shit. Well, town. it was in college. In college, we, okay. everybody had them. Because yeah. I, was, I was older at that time. I was in like sixth grade. Yeah. And I was like, I want yeah, that tracks the feather in my hair. And my mom was like, no. you're ridiculous. I was so confused about rap. how it was done. Yeah, you wrapped it in. We did yeah. the wrap for a while. See, that wasn't up. as much as mine. Yeah. Like, uh, people did the wraps, but only when you went on vacation. Yeah, it was like a vacation. Like, vacation you, yeah. People would come back and it's like, you were at the Bahamas. Well, it used to be braids. And then everybody would come back with braids being like, I went to the Bahamas. And I was so fucking jealous head is like yes. girl yes <laughs> I was so Read jealous. I was so jealous at the time because it yeah. was, you know, people didn't say anything about it when I was like in the fourth grade. I was so fucking jealous. And then now looking back, I am so glad yeah. that I never had. You don't that. have a picture of that? Yeah. Never. I never once got my hair braided. And I just, I feel great about that. Yeah. Um, this is a good one. Or a gold bar necklace from high school boyfriend with, of course, the custom date. We started dating. Consistency. Um, let's bar. see. Oh, where's this? The, sorry, was, this oh, is two uh, people. Worst is two custom circles of my name and high school boyfriend with the date we started dating. Oh, okay, so she has two necklace, two necklaces. One is a gold bar. One is a circle. Both of them from her high school boyfriend. Both of them engraved with the date they started dating. Damn, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. I do like those bar you necklaces, think outside though. outside the box a little bit, buddy. I used to yeah. be a bar necklace. I had a couple I of I think those. that they look good. I don't have one of my own, but I think they look good. I have um, one with me and my ex-boyfriend's initials on it now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever. Like, we all have it. We yeah. all do. Also, though, like the boyfriends who got it, shit engraved, like they were the crazy girls of their time. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. If you get something engraved and you're just like casually dating, especially in middle school, high school, whatever, yeah, you're off your lot. nut. Like you're fucking crazy. Um, someone someone says, any silver piece I've get, been gifted after I told them I only like gold jewelry. Nothing is worse than getting a bunch of silver jewelry when you like gold or, or vice yeah. versa. It's the worst. Um, rose gold a lot of people talking about yeah rose gold is tough <laughs> rose gold is the o- I, I like rose Not gold the it rose has gold. to look good like I have a rose gold like Michael Kors watch which was the fucking yeah. shit when I got it I also have a rose gold Burberry watch which is also the shit when I got it now I'll, I'll keep the Burberry watch pretty much nothing else yeah. like I, it's really hard rose, rose gold Gold's fake rose gold of, looks like shit yeah just, real rose gold looks nicer but fake looks like looks like garbage it looks like p- weird pink yeah. like painted brass yeah. it looks like shit um the the statement necklaces everybody's talking about do you guys remember all those bubble necklaces like that yeah. they got that sold was, at j crew no, I definitely wore those me yeah. i wore yes. them too i wore them too they j. were Banana well capital to force us <laughs> capital to force us to wear to wear statement necklaces basically so i blame I it on i blame those. it on my sorority 
I blame it on my sorority. I blame it on my a mother. A lot of girls. I Everyone wore them. Those bubble necklaces they were at J. Crew. Yeah. There was a thing in New York. I don't even know if it still exists. Like, it probably does. Bobble Bar. Is that still yeah, a thing? Yeah, that's still a thing. Yeah, Bobble Bar was like the the ground zero for bubble necklaces. I was like shopping at J. Crew as a 14 year old, being like, what statement necklace can Same, I put under my bitch. Oxford I, I shirt? I lived today? at J. Crew. I like my entire oh. wardrobe was J. Crew in college. Like I just I, I loved was like it. A freshman in high school, like. Oh dressing God. like an old lady like yeah. i don't get it like i never i had a hard time dressing to go out like i had a hard time dressing to go out to the clubs <laughs> clubs <laughs> bars they were not clubs <laughs> the bars in college because i just i had a j crew closet and i would have to buy or, uh borrow like slutty skirts for my friends because i just i never liked them as far as style like Me i thought they were ugly too. Like, i was like i have nothing besides yeah like literally business casual right exactly wear. like i prefer business casual almost all the time and i i hate everything that everybody's wearing here and i just i've always hated banded skirts i was never a fan still i'm not I think they look like trash I think they make everybody's like pussy hang out and it looks <laughs> terrible like i just hate it banded skirts need to die um the white shell necklaces those phases are embarrassing a lot of people talking about tiffany's do you guys think tiffany's is still cool yes i am wearing tiffany right now i also think so too like i think that there are items at tiffany's that are kind of lame but i think that overall Tiffany, tiffany's is still cool i think tiffany's is still cool yeah, yeah. i'm wearing tiffany now like yeah. i yeah there's timeless there's this necklace from tiffany that i want so bad it's oh, kind of yeah? weird but it's like a scorpion <gasps> i Ooh. love that yeah, it's very cool I'll that's really so cool Ooh, pull it up i want to say uh, someone says, fucking Alex and Ani bracelets. Why did we do this? Oh, oh my God. God. I was in on that. I, I know. That. Yeah, that was my shit. Pandora bracelets. I didn't for have your a ladies. Pandora bracelet. I, I had a troll, my, a troll beads bracelet. My the other, the other Pandora. <laughs> always got me a Pandora bead to go on my Pandora bracelet. Yep. Yep. And every year I lost my pandora Damn. bracelet those so those say, beads were so, so fucking expensive those beads were like a hundred dollars so expensive it was every crazy year my grandma would get me one and i i'm literally i'm glad like, i never tough. fell into the trap that so many girls our age fell into of the pandora tiara ring oh god oh, yeah, i yeah, forgot yeah, yeah. about that i never fell into that trap i, I had, had other either. pandora rings but i yeah. did not have the princess tiara ring no which i was just like i can't i can't do it no i hate that's i hate that too um someone says best grandma's vintage avon costume jewelry love that best is my casio calculator watch people go nuts for casios they're like a trendy they're watch to have like they're they always kind of have been like they're they're cheap they're have a specific look they're very old looking retro kinda whatever goes with everything. and kind of goes with everything yeah but they people they're still like going strong people love them um claire's clip on earrings i still have them that's hilarious um Apparently, Uncommon James is terrible quality. Have you guys heard this? I have Ooh. heard of Uncommon James. I have not heard this. I, I have not quality. heard of... Un or, no, I have heard of Uncommon James. I hadn't heard this until now, and I have never touched or owned an Uncommon James mm -hmm. object, so I don't know. Um, oh, that's sick, Gia. Yeah, right. Well, let me see. Let me see. I'm obsessed with that. I Buy know. it. How much Wait, is it? A lot? It's too much? $1,800. Oh, God damn it. Damn, I'm yeah, fucked. I know. Maybe well, like next year for Christmas or something. That's what I'm saying. Feel like a, a birthday like, present. Right. Do you have a milestone? Of what kind of... What's, how old are you? Oh, 24. Damn it's it. It's not a milestone. Maybe damn 25. It. That's what I was saying. I, I was like, I maybe next year. I want a boob job anyways for my birthday. Maybe plant the seed. Mm. Yeah. You do. You want that? Yeah. I'm jealous. That's more than that necklace. I've always wanted that. I still kind of want it. My mom said maybe. I always... For the necklace or the boob job? The boob job. I always, t I Mary, like right begged now. my parents growing up. I was like, please, please, please. Or my mom, I'm going to bite my dad. My mom, my mom she was like, understand. see how you feel when you're older. Yeah. Literally last night, Gia, it's so funny you say this. I was like trying on outfits and trying on a dress and like trying to figure out a bra to wear with this like dress I'm wearing to my cousin's wedding. And I was like, oh, if only my boobs were bigger, like it just wouldn't be a big deal. No. And then I started really getting in my head about like all my clothes. I was like, my clothes would look so much better if my boobs were bigger. Gia and I'm like, here I still am. Gia hates when them. I say this, but I hate, I hate my big boobs. Everyone, everyone that has well, big boobs says big that. I don't want big boobs. I no. just want... Bigger boobs. I want bigger boobs. Yeah, I understand yes. what you're saying. I Same. Like I don't. I don't want it. to like. I don't want to have back problems. Like I don't yeah, want to throw no. them over my shoulder. No, I just no. want to fill out my no, fucking I'm shirts. I'm not trying to like be like a like a blown out Barbie. My shirts yeah, are right. overflowing. Yeah. I worry that if I get a boob job, it'll I'm going to be the one that has like you know they're going to sit up here and they're never going to drop. Or and I'm going to get that gonna... like boob job depression that people get. Exactly like, like right. 
the, mm-hmm. the boob job illness. I don't yep. even know what it's called. Boob job illness. I don't know either. It's the boob job illness. Yeah. It's really hard. It's really hard I to know, think about. But no. it's also like it's such a major surgery. I don't know. It's such a major I f- surgery. I, I worry that I, like my time has passed for a boob job, but I, I, know. I, I still Women think about get boob it. jobs at all ages. I know they do. I know they do. Yeah. No, I, mm-hmm. if well, it helps ladies, yeah, I want, a lot of I want well, smaller like, boobs. You know, my well, then say that. Be like, mom, I want a boob job. Cry about it. And then be like, all right, fine. I'll get me the scorpion necklace. I'll have the Tiffany scorpion. It's way cheaper and way better. <laughs> my friend just recently got one and it just looks so great that I'm like, Ugh. yeah, I'm so jealous. Sometimes they look good. Sometimes they look like shit though. Sometimes they look like fucking bolt-ons, which I don't yeah. like. They have to look, they have to Natural. look real. Yeah. yeah I yeah. will say so Alex hard. Earl's boobs look fake as shit. They do. They do look fake. She's gorgeous. They're only though, a year so old. Matter. They're only a year old. They do look fake. I think most people with boob jobs look fake. It takes like fake. a year or like two years for them to like, like <laughs> to like settle in and start normal. blending in with your yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. I think I can almost always 100% of the time detect fake boobs. Like the only time I can't is this new shit where people are like injecting into their sides. Like people say that Olivia Rodrigo did it. People say that Taylor Swift did it. I don't know uh-huh. if there's any truth, but they do both have bigger boobs than they used to. So it's kind of like injecting. what's going on. Like, yeah, where they take fat from like other parts of your body and inject it it's into like a your BBL boobs. of your boobs. Basically, yeah. It's a it's it's called something. I'll send you the link because I looked it up extensively. That sounds better. And I was like, and the only thing about it is it's not. Th- there aren't as many people who have done it, so they can't like test. Okay. Okay. you know uh like long-term issues or whatever but people oh are doing it and loving it and apparently it's like a hollywood secret like it's oh, like one of those things like Ozempic. where um yeah basically yeah um i can't think of what it's called but i'll, I'll okay. look it up because i was yeah. looking it up being like you know fat transfer boob <laughs> <laughs> like not having the to not porn silicone results <laughs> right yeah. exactly yeah because i just feel like silicone and, and saline always look fake um yeah. anyway Fat the food. the last thing I will say, and then we'll we'll finish our discussion, is uh, we have to have a moment for heart jewelry. No, we don't. What do you guys think? <laughs> hey, I'm wearing a heart. What necklace. do you guys think? No, you it's know what I'm talking about. The K Jewelers oh, heart. Oh yeah. Yes. 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 And the, like that whole like. I like mine. Uh, K. It and divides everyone. Heart jewelry divides everyone. No, yours is from that's Gucci. Pretty. That's different, Gia. That's tasteful. way different. Yeah, yours is tasteful. Yeah, I like that. Hopefully. Was it a gift? Yeah, it was. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always. It's always a gift, which I, which is fine, and I love. I'll say this: I have some heart jewelry. I would never choose heart jewelry. I would never want heart jewelry from a boyfriend. That is not my vibe. The heart jewelry that I have is all from my Nana. My Nana, <laughs> my Nana is, is the exception. She can get me any piece of jewelry, any color, any style, any anything, and I will love it and wear it. It doesn't and matter because it's, like, it's from my Nana, and I know that she took the time to go somewhere, yeah. pick it out, and give it to me. I don't give a fuck what it looks like. I will wear yeah. it, and that's that. But if anybody else is giving me heart stuff, not so much. If you're walking into a K Jewelers and getting a heart necklace, yes. leave. It's yeah. tough. The K Jewelers thing is tough. I used to buy my mom heart jewelry all the time thinking it was cute. Like, little kids buy it. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. just a thing. And people love heart jewelry, though. Like, I'm not talking shit. I personally am not a fan. People love it. I'm not talking shit about Gucci. And the, I like the t- I like the Tiffany. I'm not the, t- Tiffany, the Tiffany two hearts. The little. Oh yes. yeah, I like that one. Too. I like yes. I'm, ta- I'm specifically cute. talking the K jewelers. Right, exactly. Yeah. K jewelers specifically is. ruined heart well, jewelry for me as well. Have you seen those that things that are trending now? Those like bulky necklaces. Those like big pendant bulky necklaces. Yeah, those are cool. You know who started those? Uh, Juicy Couture used to have yeah. those like crazy. Mm-hmm. And they're doing like a lot of them are hearts. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hearts are coming back. I I can't I can't deny it. I've seen it too much to say that they're not i have seen a lot of heart clothing and which like clothing with hearts on it oh you were wearing one i was wearing one the other day that was like a coincidence i never really would be caught dead in this in something like that but um i really like that sweater and i've seen a lot of like jeans with hearts printed on it and like all this other bullshit um like these type of necklaces I know are exactly. really trending right You're now. You're talking yeah, yeah, the huge ones. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's exactly, that, that's yeah. Juicy Couture yeah. used to have those necklaces like, those out there. Like, I wouldn't like, personally they're wear fun. that. They're fun. Yeah, they're they're cool. good for a certain yeah. type of person. The K jewelers they're uh-uh. cool for like a cho- like a, a funky choker person. Yeah, I agreed. have people in my DM, in this DMs. I didn't bring it up uh, talking shit about chokers. I love a choker. I've always loved chokers. I still love chokers. Yeah, I, like choker. I love chokers. I, kind of have a choker. Mine's I just like think a that they're cool. Choker. It's just like closer. You have to have the right neck for it. I though. I personally don't like things touching my neck. Yeah, like, that makes sense. As a concept, I couldn't I, sleep with a choker. I couldn't do the anything. chokers like in high school, but yeah. like this is like I can't feel it. I but like a choker is like a layering piece. Yeah, yeah I love a I, same. I love a choker. Yeah. Um, those those stretchy stretchy those neck are yeah iconic. those are great yeah. those are making a comeback too because everybody had a 90s themed birthday party in the past yeah. two years and uh so now we all own those 
but yeah, so heart jewelry is maybe the most polarizing. I have so many people in my DMs about that specifically. I want on a record that um, I'm not a fan. However, I do recognize that it is making a comeback, and I have a feeling we're going to see a lot more heart jewelry, so we better yeah. buckle the fuck up. Just don't and go maybe, to K. Yeah, just don't go to K. Jewelers. K. Jewelers is garbage. K. Jewelers. Yeah, no Jared, no K. Jeweler. Z. Galleria, none of those. I mean, you can go to those places. You can go to those places for like. I don't know. Like don't. your grandparents. Like, I don't know. Don't. Just don't. Just don't. Yeah, yeah. Um, just don't go to them. Just don't do it. But that is, uh, that's all I have, ladies, for us with, with Jules. What do you think about Jules? What do you think about what we talked about? Did you learn anything today? I learned I about the lab-grown diamonds. learned about lab-grown that's diamonds. That's the only reason I wanted to talk yeah. about this today was to talk about that. Yeah. Literally. So and I'm glad that, that we all took, took that away. You just love whatever your fiance gets you. Oh, yeah. it's not about the ring. It's not it's about the rock. ring. Not not saying that you, you don't want to rock. I'm saying you should love your diamond. You should love your diamond. Be grateful. Be grateful, be grateful for what for you have. Be gra- grateful for what you've gotten. And if you yeah. are someone who cannot be grateful for uh, for something that maybe isn't exactly what you want, then you need to take control of the situation yeah. and make sure that your fiance knows that. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> and pick it out yourself. Mm-hmm. Take All it right. out yourself. I'll see you guys next week.